Hey, hey, welcome to my channel, Laundry's Question Answered. <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying it myself. Uh, where I commentate, review, and critique videos I find interesting about the laundry industry or laundry products on YouTube or anything that I find. So today's video, I'm going to be talking or reviewing and critiquing a video by a guy named by Bobby Parrish when he's talking about laundry detergents. So let's get into it. Oh, wait. I forgot to introduce myself. It's my first time doing this. My name is Kevin William. And the question is, why should we listen to you? Well, I've been in the laundry industry maybe close to about a decade or so. I've uh, learned the ins and outs of laundry care to the point where I maybe wash, dried, and fold maybe tons and tons of laundry, press, remove stains from tons of different garments and of, for dry cleaning. So I got a little bit of expertise in most areas of laundry care, especially when it comes to detergents. Uh, I've used mm, all the major brands and even some off brands to wash all the clothes. So I think I got a little bit of, you know, expertise in this industry to kind of give my own opinion. So uh, let's get into it. Let's dive be an SLS or SLES in your detergent, put it back. It's a very harsh scrubbing agent. And yes, it makes your clothes squeaky clean, but it's also a skin irritant. More importantly, the state of New York. Come on, man. I can almost, I haven't watched his full video yet. It's only a minute long, but I can guarantee he's going to be talking about some plant-based detergents and avoiding SLS is really hard to do. All the major brands, all the most popular stuff you're going to find at Target, Walmart, or wherever you shop are going to be the major brands, and they all have SLS in it. So telling people to avoid it is pretty much directing you to go to the plant-based stuff, which, you know, it works, but not that good. Banned a handful of brands of detergent. It's because of something called 1,4-dioxine, and elevated levels of that can cause cancer. And 1,4-dioxine is directly related to benzene. Avoid SLS, and you avoid 1,4-dioxine. All right. <laughs> so don't avoid SLS, but he's right. Elevated dioxine, if I said it right, which leads to benzene, will cause irritations in the skin. Now, to avoid that and still use the major products that are out there, use less than detergent. SLS is, if you look behind the bottle, it says it's meant for stain lifting. It's just a fancy way of saying the bubbles are lifting the dirt off the clothes, and SLS is what is used to create all the bubbles you see in the wash. So, I mean, if you're going to use plant-based or something that without SLS, you're going to end up using more detergent and you don't want to do that. It's a waste of money. So let's continue on. Moonlight breeze. How do they do it? Always with perfume or fragrances like natural flavors. It's the biggest lie in the grocery store because that fragrance can be two or 3000 mystery ingredients that are proprietary. So they won't tell us, but in there are skin irritants, but also phthalates, endocrine disruptors, and hormone disrupting ingredients. Whatever you do, don't get a fragrance. Well, luckily, there's some really good options. Come on. Again, just don't use so much detergent or extra softener. You'll be fine. It's not going to irritate your skin that much. Even the free and clear or things without dye have SLS in it, so you can't avoid it. And those are hyperallergenic. So people who are using those aren't getting skin irritation and it still has SLS in it. So, okay, let's continue. This one is really good. The fragrance is actually a pure essential oil. This one is good too. At home, a great option to use as branch basics. I also use... All right, so if you have irritation to fragrances, get a free and clear detergent and you can add essential oils yourself without having to buy the plant-based detergent, which are more expensive in the stores than the regular detergents, and there are less sales on them typically anyhow. So if you have an issue with fragrance, that's an alternate option where you can just buy some essential oils and drop it in the softener spot just so you can get that extra bit of fragrance. But uh, to avoid SLS completely, no, don't do that. You'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Just don't use so much detergent. 
I know everyone wants to see bubbles in their in their wash because they think it's going to make it clean better, but really it doesn't do that. And the issue of the irritation happens because when you use too much detergent, all that extra suds in the clothes during the rinse and extraction is still left on your clothes. So when you move it to a dryer such as this, that chemical is now absorbed into the, the into your item, and which then leads to the skin irritation, be it with you know with fragrance or without fragrance. Using too much of it will cause irritation. So um, cool video. Uh, some of the things he said was factually right, but practically wrong. So thank you for watching and go on to the next video if I have one out.